the business use case for our try catch activity. To work with this shape, we have a process that handles incoming purchase orders in batches with many purchase orders failing. In one instance, a process batch containing three separate purchase orders was halted after the first document resulted in error, so no documents were written to the data store. The successful documents were never processed because the first document failure prevents all remaining documents from flowing through the process. We're going to modify a pre-built process using the try-catch shape so that all successful documents will be processed and all error documents captured and routed from the main process flow. We'll execute the process in test mode to see the errors. Then we'll add a try-catch shape to catch documents containing errors. We'll configure a message shape to capture detailed errors and then write detailed error logs to disk for archiving. Successful documents will be sent down the try path. Let me demonstrate here, which is found on pages 24 to 32 of the activity guide. In the training account, I'll create another subfolder under developer2. try catch, and then from the process library, install that activity. First, I'm going to configure the disk and FTP connections. The disk connection is the work directory, and the FTP, this should be in your account from Boomi Essentials, Boomi Training FTP. Now I'll run a test to see the error that we're getting. And you can see that the process failed because one document failed here at the map. So we'll add a try catch shape. We're going to set the retry count to two, and the failure trigger is going to be set to document errors. Now I can place this before the map. For now, I'm going to put a stop shape here on the catch path, and let's run a test again. Now we see that one document was written to disk. We knew that one document was failing at the map, and an another document is failing here at the FTP connector, getting a 550 error. So now that the process allows successful documents to complete, we're going to configure the process to capture the errors for the remaining documents that fail and archive those error messages to disk. So ahead of the stop shape, I'm going to add a message shape. I'm going to use the message shape to store the base try catch message document property. So we'll enter the message. And now I need to assign the variables. The first will be a document property.
under metadata base, I'll select try catch message. The other values are coming from the XML profile. These are profile elements. using the purchase order XML profile. First, we want vendor. And now we'll bring in the purchase order number. Select purchase order number and click OK. So our message is configured correctly. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to add a disconnector after the message shape. I'll change the action to send using the work directory connection. And the operation is going to be the same as in the try path. So I'll select write dot. We're reusing the same connection and operation components as those in the try path. So all rejected documents will be outputted to that same location. Remember that connectors using the same connection component do not affect connection licenses. So I'll connect this to the stop shape. And now everything is configured. We can run a final test here. And looking at the disconnector here in the catch path, we see for the two documents that we have captured the try catch error for vendor N Nintendo with this purchase order. And for the second, the try catch error has been captured for vendor Atari with this purchase order. All right, now it's your turn to complete the activity on pages 24 to 32 of the activity guide.